With offices in Preston and Logan, we have three full-time optometrists and a fun and friendly staff. It was a good week for the girls basketball team at Westside. They had a couple of really close games and pulled out wins in both of them. The Pirates beat Aberdeen at Aberdeen last Thursday, then they pulled out another close victory at home against Milan. The Preston Indian girls played well last week despite a 28 point loss to Rigby. They soundly defeated visiting Blackfoot 62-32 and then lost on the road to Jerome 49-46 in overtime. For Westside, they take on Soda Springs tonight at 7 o'clock. And then on the 31st, they travel to Bear Lake. Tip off for that game is at 7.30. After that, the Pirates will start the district tournament on February 3rd with an eye towards the state tournament on the 19th through the 21st at Bishop Kelly. The Indian girls host Bear River Friday at 7.30 p.m. After that, they start their district tournament on the 3rd, also with an eye towards the state tournament starting the 20th. Last Thursday, the Pirates traveled to Aberdeen to take on the Tigers. Westside knew it was going to be tough, but they got the job done. They used their inside game to keep their edge. The game was closed throughout, but Westside prevailed when it really mattered and pulled out a two-point victory, 48-46. Another exciting game developed at home on Saturday. The Dragons came to town and they battled Malad and pulled out an overtime victory. The game was neck and neck throughout. The Pirates would have had no chance had it not been for the dynamic duo of the Povey Twins. The inside game was the Pirates' key to success since they struggled to hit a shot from the outside. With only a minute remaining on the clock in regulation, the Dragons were up on the Pirates 35 to 34. Not long after, Abby Povey sang a free throw to tie it up. With about 15 seconds left, Darcy Povey was at the line. Unfortunately, she missed both free throws and that sent the game into overtime. The Pirates scored the first six points of overtime on their way to a two point victory, 41 to 39. The Indians, in Jerome, they held an 8-4 lead at the end of the first quarter. At the end of the second quarter, the score was 19-18 with the Indians down one. Both teams battled back and forth and it was tied 46-46 at the end of regulation. But it was Jerome who came up big in the end, pulling out the victory. Against Rigby, the Indians fell behind 16-2 and that was too much to overcome. That deficit ballooned to 32 to 13 at the half. Reporting for the Preston Citizen, a multimedia company, this is Greg Madsen. We want to make you see good and look good with your new glasses. I Care For You is our name and our commitment.